So here's a 10 minute guide to trying to roll your R's. Um, so first, the idea is that a rolled R for me makes contact, um, my tongue makes contact um, with the roof of my mouth in a part different than where my normal R would go. So the R versus the R, my tongue is actually approaching different parts of my mouth. and so I want to highlight that different position and the method involves having um, tension across the tongue from side of mouth to side of mouth all the way across and holding that tension while leaving a part of the tongue in the near the front loose to flap about and make the rolling sound and so teaching that technique is the other main part and so I have four sort of steps in getting there and one extra bonus tip. Um, so first step is learning where that position is. Um, and to learn that position I first want to make sure we know the different parts of the tongue. So um, contrast an L sound with an R sound. L a l versus r a r and to actually contrast what parts of the tongue are in contact with the mouth, try holding an L versus an R. Um, for an L, the tongue should be thin and touching the with the tip, the roof of the mouth. And for an R, the tongue should be wide and not touching the roof of the mouth, but is touching on the sides. And in, so in that way, the L is sort of the opposite of the R in terms of which parts of the tongue are touching. Um, also notice with an in sound, an n, then in that case, both, all of your tongue is touching the sides and roof of your mouth, and air is coming out of your nose instead. Um, so contrasting all three of those sounds is important on differentiating the parts of the tongue. The L is touching the part of the roof of the mouth that we want to focus on. So typically for me, a la is touching a part of the mouth that's more towards the front than for a ra, where the I usually move my tongue back a little. So in the end, we're going to be moving forward with the tongue for the rolled R. Um, so two. Now let's practice moving the tongue around and being more aware of that um, with a common word. So when you say run, you're getting an R and an N in there. So here's three things to practice while saying run um, to try to hone in on these differences. One is practice saying it with your mouth open and lips still. So instead of run, try moving towards a run, 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 run run, where I'm moving my jaw very little and keeping my lips as open throughout. That way the tongue is the only thing moving and changing the sounds. Um, next thing, um, keeping, try keeping the sides of the tongue touching the same parts of the sides of the mouth the whole time so that on the back part of your tongue is still while the front part of your tongue is moving around. And for me, if this is the roof of my mouth, this usually looks like a run, 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 where my tongue starts a little back, then goes into a neutral uh position, and then touches for the in um, three. So now we're pr going to focus on keeping that tension across the sides present and the tip of the tongue relaxed and to be clear whenever I go over the last bonus tip at the end this is the step you'll want to go back to and retry from here with a different technique if you want to try that tip um, so um, we care about sounds that allow the sides to be in contact um, and change where the front is so those sounds are in, T and D, 
S and Z. And I'm grouping those two in pairs because the only difference between T and D is whether your vocal cords are vibrating or not. And same for S and Z. So, na, na, na. Try saying ins where you keep the sides of your mouth under tension at the same part of your mouth, or sides of your tongue at the same parts of the sides of your mouth, and the tip of your tongue is the only thing moving as you say na, na. Uh, same for T or D. T, a, t, a, t, d, a, d. Whether you say T or D, you'll be practicing the same tongue motion. And then S, a, S, Z, a, Z for S and Z. Um, that one does require a little bit of jaw movement to get the buzzing to happen. Don't worry about that. Focus on the tongue motion. Uh, so if you can practice those and get the feeling for keeping that, trying to keep the tip of your tongue free moving to go between those sounds. So maybe even alternating between them and just na a ta a sa na a ta sa sa na da sa na ta you know practicing a series of them while focusing on keeping that tension in the back the same is a good idea. Um, now getting the actual roll started is the last step. Um, you can technically start a roll from scratch from a neutral tongue position in uh. That would sound like uh ra, uh ra, and that's what a normal rolled R is supposed to sound like. Um, but to, it's usually easier to get it started and learn what the feeling is supposed to feel like by um, starting with a more explosive burst of air. Um, so starting with a P, T, or K the T being the recommended one because your tongue will be already in the right place. So instead of an ara, uh starting with a <laughs> so that's getting everything in contact like you're about to make the T sound and then giving it an extra burst of air and trying to keep the tensions the way we've been describing should get that flapping going. After you get a T, starting with a T down, moving on to a P and a K, um, like a P or a K. So that's P, 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 T, P, and K. K. You, if you can start with any of those, you're probably ready to start with a, from a neutral, with a R, R, because at that point you know what the feeling feels like. Um, so now, bonus tip. If you're still having trouble, particularly if more than likely your trouble is that the tip of your tongue is too tense. Um, so you're getting a lot of like, <laughs> or instead of the roll, you're getting a lot of <laughs> like air just going around, or a <laughs> where it's uh sounding, or perhaps you keep cutting off airflow entirely and just making a or a mm, sort of sound. If those are your issues, <laughs> um, then the tip of your tongue is just too tense. And you can move away from doing a centered roll and sort of move your tongue to one side. Um, so I'll demo what this looks like real fast. So instead of a ra, a ra, a ra, where I'm just moving straight up, I'll move to this side. Ra, Ahra, ahra. And I'll also demo starting from a T. Um, where the T itself sounds different if you're practicing that off to the side. Instead of a ta, a ta, it'd be a ta, a ta, ta, a ta, ta. Ta, 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 a ta, which is a weird sound you're not used to making, more than likely. Um, the reason that moving to the side might be easier is just the way the muscle fibers in your tongue are arranged. It's easier to 
push your tongue off to the side uniformly and keep everything from tip all the way back in contact on one side and leaving the other side relaxed to be the flap because it actually takes a lot more effort to keep the other side essentially can't reach the other the this side of your mouth and so then it has it has no choice but to flap um, so just the way your tongue is shaped and everything it ends up being a nice trick and it usually doesn't sound any different once you're actually rolling because ra you know if I say run versus run 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 if my mouth isn't open you don't even notice more than likely 